The Battle of Las Mercedes was the last battle which occurred during the course of Operation Verano, the summer offensive of 1958 launched by the Batista government during the Cuban Revolution. The battle was a trap, designed by Cuban General Elogio Contillo to lure Fidel Castro's guerrillas into a place where they could be surrounded and destroyed. The battle ended with a ceasefire which Castro proposed and which Contillo accepted. During the ceasefire, Castro's forces escaped back into the hills. The battle, though technically a victory for the Cuban army, left the army dispirited, and demoralized. Castro viewed the result as a victory and soon launched his own offensive. Chapter 1 – Background Earlier in the month, an amphibious assault from sea by the Cuban Army Battalion 18 was crushed by Castro's forces at the Battle of La Plata. Battalion 18 was surrounded and sniped at by the rebel forces. General Contillo ordered Battalion 17 to cross over the Sierra Maestra to come to the aid of Battalion 18. However, Castro's troops were able to block the road and prevent any relief for the surrounded soldiers. After ten days of fighting, Battalion 18 surrendered. This left Battalion 17 in an exposed position. Chapter 2 the battle. Battalion 17 began its pullback on 29 July 1958. Castro sent a column of men under René Ramos Latour to ambush the retreating soldiers. They attacked the advance guard and killed some 30 soldiers but then came under attack from previously undetected Cuban forces. Latour called for help and Castro came to the battle scene with his own column of men. Castro's column also came under fire from another group of Cuban soldiers that had secretly advanced up the road from the Estrada Palma sugar mill. As the battle heated up, General Contillo called up more forces from nearby towns and some 1,500 troops started heading towards the fighting. However, this force was halted by a column under Che Guevara's command. While some critics accused Che for not coming to the aid of Latour, Major Bachmann argues that Che's move here was the correct thing to do. Indeed, he called Che's tactical appreciation of the battle brilliant. By the end of July, Castro's troops were fully engaged and in danger of being wiped out by the vastly superior numbers of the Cuban army. He had lost 70 men, including René Latour, and both he and the remains of Latour's column were surrounded. The next day, Castro requested a ceasefire with General Contillo, even offering to negotiate an end to the war. This offer was accepted by General Contillo for reasons that remain unclear. Batista sent a personal representative to negotiate with Castro on 2 August. The negotiations yielded no result but during the next six nights, Castro's troops managed to slip away unnoticed. On the 8th of August when the Cuban army resumed its attack, they found no one to fight. Chapter 3 – Aftermath Castro's remaining forces had escaped back into the mountains, and Operation Verano had effectively ended in failure for the Batista government.